growing up, I always had a, a what do you call it, an affinity for the visual arts. And, but I don't think I really turned a corner about working seriously until I went to grad school. It was the idea that I spent a year and a half totally focused in the studio. And that changed. And I was totally uh, engaged with the work. Was, that was the priority. And I was engaged with it. And then, of course, in school, you'd get challenging feedback. And, and you'd work with that. And I think that that's, that's when our a personal discipline came into it. I made a big shift from starting with that, that kind of pre, do a cognitive thing, pre-visualize something, then try to you know get it on the paper, you know, paint it or whatever. And then uh, when I had that time to invest in the studio, I wanted to be more sensate. I want to respond to the material. I see a lot of liquid in my work. I want it to stay liquid. I wanted it to lead me. I don't want to impose that intellectual path over it. I want it to be, I want it to be sensitive, I want it to be intuitive. And I know that at the bottom of, of how I work then and how I work now is that I'm seeking an orderliness in it, a harmony in it. I guess when I look around at the art world today, I see a lot of uh, derivative style, things like that, that kind of like, okay, let's push, let's push it to, let's push it to a place we don't know, and let's see who it is, you know. But I think my work is uh, very happy, and it's hard to do things happy without being corny. Like this piece, this this one I just finished is uh, it's based on a poem by Mary Oliver. In a way, she has her poem. It's, she has a lot of piece of allies in her poetry, but uh, and her 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 this poem's about going into sleep and piece of allies about you know fear and joy and things like that. And she she awakes a lot in the night, and every time she wakes, she wakes to something better. And that's why I wanted this piece to do, have these little vignettes that just travel, and then it goes away and it travels back, and goes away and travels back. I know that I've had some really significant impressions from teachers, and I know I've had some really significant impressions from some artists, you know, that I've worked around, and these are like, uh, I'm not talking about museum artists, I'm talking about people I know and how they process in their work. When you're in the studio and you start working, the teachers, the artists, the friends that have influenced your work are there with you. And as you really start working, they start leaving. And when you're really, really working, you leave too. Mm -hmm.